All right, I'm sitting here with Sarah. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? All right, just want to give me a little history about, you know, where you're from, how old you are, stuff like that. Okay, I'm from Woodbury. I'm 32. Mm -hmm. um, I came out here two years ago. Me and my boyfriend had nowhere to go. We okay. was about to have a baby. He knew a couple people out here, so we moved out here. Okay. It wasn't the best decision. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what's your uh, drug of choice? Dope. Dope? Yes. Well, whatever it is. Well, yeah, whatever they're mixing in it now, because I don't even think it's dope anymore. No. Uh, now, were you, have you been getting high long enough to where you were doing, like, real heroin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, did you re notice the switch over? Yes. And Now, do you, wh which one do you like better? I think I liked heroin better. Okay. Because it lasted longer. Yeah, I, I hear about how short the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you got to get your next fix kind of quick. Really? Yeah. And everybody's switching it to Trank, and it's colored. Okay, so. that's the next thing I was going to get at. Yeah. So you are dealing with Trank? Now, yes. now, how do you like that? I don't. You don't like it? I don't like it. I don't like the nod out, and I don't like to be unconscious. Yeah. It's, I, that's how all my friends see me when they do that. Like, yeah. they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there's people with the sores that, that are just... Oh, my gosh. So that's real. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. you haven't I seen I thought she yet? was lying. Uh, no, I've seen them, but I thought she was lying to me when she said it's from the drink. I'm going to put a... I'm going to pause this for... Back up, okay? Uh, All right, so you just saw those those pictures. Yes. Terrible. Shocking, right? Yeah. They're in the first stage then because that's bad. Yeah. All right. Now, you're starting to see sores, like, not that bad yet, but... Well, like smaller but just like that like open wounds and they're not going to the hospital yeah and you starting to do you smell the rotting flesh yet yes yeah man trank's here big time <laughs> no i didn't believe it either she yeah. wears wraps around her arms like you yeah. know the ace bandage i guess to like kind of cover it up well like oh i got the ace bandages here i gotta hand them out all day long in philly there's about 80 percent of the people in philly have those sores on their bodies are you serious yeah 80%. That's terrible. Yeah. I, so, I mean, does that make it scarier for you to... Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because you everybody's switching to drink. It's, it's just not dope no more. Yeah. Yeah. They're it's just... hard to find any dope. That's what we can say. You can't even get real heroin down here anymore. Nope. Probably, huh? It's all fat and all. It, it's, it's really hard. Now. You got to really know the right person to get mm -hmm. actual dope. Yeah, it's and terrible. Even in Philly now, they're cutting uh, Trank into the, the crack. The crack, the yeah, okay. Fetting all into the crack. His cousin smokes crack, and um, she was telling me the other day, we were sitting on the step, she was telling me that she would take hit and go right to sleep. Yeah. And I'm like, it has to be fentanyl. You guys should probably start carrying The fentanyl Narcan. strips? No, Oh, Narcan. I always carry Narcan okay. with me. Just because it's people that just Absolutely. smoke crack and they don't know nothing about it and mm -hmm. they take it and they oh dear yeah i've seen it like three people i i interviewed in philly and just smoke crack all three of them cool. uh, Nar well no they got narcan and take back but all three of them just from smoking crack never done heroin in their life and they all got narcan overdose that's crazy yeah it is scary man it, you know now are you out on the streets like oh, all the time, or do you have uh, like a shelter to go to? We stay in an abandoned church. Okay, okay. Now, would would uh, I, would tents even help you, or do you do you don't even really need it because of inside the church? I mean, it might because you never know when you're gonna have to go outside yeah. the church. You know well, I mean? I'm coming back here Saturday. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring a bunch of tents and stuff down. Yeah. This is my this is my second time down here. I didn't have any luck right. with the interviews the first time. Some people are just skeptical. They're like, what? Yeah. Well, I, it was it's me second-guessing myself. I was more scared to ask people. Right. I just, I, I stopped the two guys to hand them donations, and they're like, yeah, yeah well, of course we'll give an interview, right. you well, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're That's paying. That's what I told her. Yeah. I, I was like, and you're paying? Hell yeah, I'll do it. I just right. got to have a little more um, confidence in asking people. Yeah. It, 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 the more you do it, the more it'll come to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so do you guys have any desire to get sober i'm sure you don't want to live that you know I but absolutely have for a long time and even since i've had the desire i've gotten clean and then used again and somehow I always fall back into the same trap yeah and it's always oh, i can use for a day or two and mm -hmm. after a day or two you're like damn i gotta go get something now like i don't feel good so yeah it just gets you so fast i would always relapse on something like Heroin was always my shit. I'd right. always wind up taking a Xanax or... Yeah, absolutely. A, you know, and it's, it's some a gimmick, other, yep, yeah. and I'd always end up back yeah. with my baby heroin at some point or another. Right. Somehow, some way. Yeah. It just always comes back. Now, do you know where to reach out to if 
and when you're ready to get help, program wise. Yeah, I um, my son is with Dyfus, so um, I'm like connected with the Center for Family Services. And all okay, that, so, yeah. that's like Children Youth Services yep. or whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. so he's he's in a, he's somewhere safe right yes, now. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. Now, is that something like if you get sober, you can then have him back? Bag? Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's something to work work on. Right. All right, and you say what? Two years old? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. He just turned two in August. All right. Well, that's something though. You know, I, I, listen. It's addictions. Always a goal. There's got to be. You have to or have a goal. Or you don't have anything. Yeah. There's got to be a goal. You right. know. I, I. You know. I, I hope you. Uh, hope you can. Get your. You know. Your act together and get off the streets. It's hard though. It is. It's hard. It took me 18 years of about 50 trips of rehab. Well, see, I hope it was Steven. I've never been to an inpatient rehab. I've tried outpatient. Yeah. And failed it miserably <laughs> yeah out, see outpatient is always I hard because <laughs> i always go back to like the, where i'm getting high at right exactly i the only thing that worked for me and i'll tell you this is i left philly completely that's what my mom said i, I threw, need to just leave new jersey bro, get out of jersey i literally threw everything away i owned and I, I went to rehab with like three pairs of underwear and you just said i'm going to do this yeah and i'm, I'm seven years sober now I got. I smoke weed, but that's that amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's normal. <laughs> but the doctor gives it to me. So, right, that's you know? normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I mean, it is. It is. It is possible. You know. Right. You're young too. What? Thirty one. Thirty two. Yeah. You still got your looks. Still got your teeth. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen. I really take uh, appreciate you taking the time to do this. Thank you. Um, I, I'll be back here Saturday. Do you have a phone number? Yep. All right. I'm gonna take your phone number and then. Uh, I'm going to bring more clothes and stuff. You okay. got to go through that, all right? Definitely. All right. Take it easy. You too.